What's up, family? Peace and blessings, peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger, let's get it, let's go, man. It's about to be a real powerful message, man. It's about to be real powerful, okay? Why you don't fit in, why you have to start disconnecting from some individuals, man. Now, if you've been a chosen one for years, everything I'm about to say, you already know. But all for the people who are new to the faith, new to the walk with Christ, with God, uh, just start reading your Bible, stuff like that, y'all gotta take heed to this, okay? The reason why you start, you start to find yourself losing friends, uh, maybe being isolated from certain individuals, disconnected from some people, you start to feel the bad vibes and bad energy. Like I always tell you guys, whenever you're getting like a bad vibes, bad energy, most of the time it's the devil, 100%. Most of the time. The reason why I say most of the time is because people don't have the Holy Spirit, they don't have discernment. So they could be getting bad vibes, bad energy from someone, but that person could be on fire for God. It's because they have demons in them and the demons in them deceive, that's how it works. They're being deceived by the demons inside them, okay? But the reason why you have to start disconnecting with some individuals is because some people, they ain't trying to live right, okay? And demons use people who, who ain't living right to get you to get to you, okay? Especially if you're on fire for God, especially if you're doing God's will, okay? This is what the devil has to do. He has to use somebody, okay? Even, even in the Bible all, all the time, the devil didn't just try to take Jesus out by himself. He had to use somebody. He had to use Judas, okay? Uh, Samson was taken out by Delilah. Okay, many, many, y'all, y'all see where I'm trying to go, all right? So the devil always got to use somebody to try to take you out. That's how he works, okay? And Satan has his children. And I truly believe that you guys could agree or disagree with this. There's more ch Satan's children on this earth than children of God. I truly believe that. Because, I mean, look at the, what the world has become. Okay, look what this world has become. And the reason why you got to start disconnecting is because, like I said, guys, people are battling certain spirits. You might not know this. They might not know this either. Okay, and this is why it's important, God, because before someone betrays you, before someone hurts you, backstabs you, all that type of stuff, right? God will always show you before, okay? He will always, he will always let you know when it's coming, okay? Just like right now, I know someone, I, I'm not going to say no names, but I know someone's about to betray me. I, I can feel it, bro. It's just like how Jesus, when he got betrayed, okay, he knew, he knew. He even told, when, when, back when they were eating on the table, he's like, one of you guys are going to betray me, and he knew. And I bet you Judas looking around like, who? It ain't me. Like, who? He's looking around at everybody. I guarantee you, bro, because that's, that's, how, that's how the devil is, man. Like, who? He's looking around like, is, that, is it you? He's like, <laughs> that's how he is, bro. That's how he is, okay? So before you get betrayed, before you get hurt, okay, God will always show you. And sometimes you have to understand this. It's all part of the plan, man. It's all part of the plan. What the enemy used to hurt you, God meant to prosper you. What the enemy used to harm you, God meant for good. That's even in the Bible. That's in Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. Whatever these devils and demons do for your own harm is actually for, you know, the greater good. Okay, what Judas did to Christ it was all for the greater good. So always understand that. And you got to understand this too, that there's, there's heavy levels of spiritual warfare going on in these last days. Now, there's always been spiritual warfare going on. But with the sin that's being increased, the wickedness, the evil, the perversion, that's all being increased. So that means it's more evil and there's more, you know, heavy spiritual warfare. So if you're walking out here without your armor of God, you're walking out here, you know, even the Bible says that a friend of the world is the enemy of God. So when you're aligning your spirit to be friends with these, with these people who have the spirit of the world in them, don't be surprised when you find yourself going back, uh, back like what they call backsliding, going back, going back to your old sins, going back to your bad habits, uh, maybe going back to something that God has already delivered you from. Okay, there's freedom in Christ. There's liberty with the Holy Spirit. But the thing is, people are rejecting the Holy Spirit. So they don't get that liberty. They don't, they don't get to obtain that freedom. Okay, people are doing the best they can to try to find that. But they're seeking God all in the wrong places. Okay, if you're lukewarm, if you love the world, the Bible says that if you love the world, the love of God does not dwell in you. And I know a lot of people have a hard time accepting that because people want to believe that God loves everybody, which, you know, God is love. Okay, but if you read the Bible, it says that, if, uh, I'll leave a Bible verse somewhere on the screen too. It says, love not the world, neither the things of the world. If any man loves the world, the love of God is not in him. The thing is, the reason why people are not spiritually growing is because they have the love of the world in them. Okay, the only way to spiritually grow, to spiritually elevate. Now, I know a lot of people talk about spiritual stuff, but it ought to be linked to the Holy Spirit. Because if it's not, then it's just demonic. To me, it, when it comes to that spirituality stuff, and if it ain't linked to the Holy Spirit, then that's demonic, bro. Facts. So... You gotta understand, man, if you want to elevate spiritually, you know, it might come with having to cut some people off. It might come with having to disconnect from certain individuals. Because some people, guys, they don't deserve you anyways. Some people don't deserve you, man. 
Okay, and you gotta understand this too. You are the light of the world. You are the, you are the salt of the world. So the minute you start to separate yourself from certain individual, someone who God has convicted you of, you saw the signs, you know, cause God has always given us signs. He is, he is giving us signs all the time. The problem is people don't listen. Okay, and when you don't listen, you get punished. God punishes you. He judges you. He, con he convicts you and then, you know, he might even chastise you, okay? So always understand that God has always given you signs and the minute you start to separate yourself from certain individuals, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna, okay, one, and I know it's multiple times, multiple things is when this happens, okay? One, they're gonna miss you because you were, you were the light. They were in darkness. They were full of darkness and you were the only little bit of light that they had. So they're gonna miss you and try to hit you back up. Don't fall for it. I'm telling you guys it right now. Now you can love them from a distance. I'm not saying to hate them or like that. I'm not saying that. You can love them from a distance, but if people ain't living right, they're still the same person, what's gonna change? You as a chosen one, you're constantly leveling up. You're always getting to the next level. Not to say that you're perfect, you're gonna fall short too, just like everyone else does. Okay, but you're striving for righteousness. You're striving to, to be perfect, okay? Not to say that you are, but you're striving for perfection because the Bible says to be perfect even as your heavenly father is perfect. So you're doing your best you can to depart from sin, to give up the wickedness, to give up the world, uh, to, you know, to do all the things that, uh, that feed your spirit, okay? You're, you're trying to fight your flesh daily, okay? Sometimes you lose the war, sometimes you win, but most majority, you're winning the war, okay? You're gonna be leveling up. God sees your obedience. God sees the hard work you're putting in. Okay, maybe the other people don't see it, and that's fine because when God sees it and other people don't see it, he's gonna make sure everyone else sees it. That's why the Bible says when you, um, when you fast, don't, don't be like the hypocrites who do it to be seen by other people because God will reward you. So you don't have to be seeking a reward from man or from a woman because God will make sure people all see it. God will make sure. Or the same thing when, when you're giving to the homeless, you're giving to those who are in need. If you're boasting and bragging about to get, to get um, to other people, you know, to, oh, look, at he's righteous or, you know, look, at he's a good person, okay? You're not going to receive reward from God. So best believe when you're doing things behind closed doors, you're fasting, you're praying, you get into your Bible, you're, you're cutting off certain things, you're cutting off the bad habits, okay? You're, the Holy Spirit is leading you to do things that, you know, that's poison to your spirit, okay? Because the Holy Spirit is speaking to us all the time. So the minute we obey you know, we take action because faith is that works is dead. So through our faith, we're taking the action, we're putting it in the work and God sees it and then we level up. But the people of the world, the people that you got to start disconnecting yourself from, they ain't trying to do that, bro. They ain't trying to deny their flesh. No, they ain't, they ain't trying to do that. Most people are not trying to do that. This is why the Bible says many are called, but only few are chosen because the ones who are chosen are the one who's putting it in the work. The one who's actually doing the will of God. Those are the chosen ones. I know a lot of people throw that word around nowadays. It's like cliche and it's like a trending topic. But nah, if you're not following Christ, if you ain't keeping God's commandments, what are you chosen of, okay? Because best believe, Satan is a copycat. Satan has his chosen ones too, okay? The people who are leading people to hell, you're, you're, you all saw the concert, Travis Scott concert, where nine people died, which I believe it was more, okay? He's doing the will of Satan. He's a chief chosen by Satan to lead as many people to hell because that's where he's going. Okay, so the cup of the Lord or the cup of devils, okay? If you're living a life of willful sin without the need of repentance, okay, just doing evil, doing wickedness, okay, and, and you, don't, you don't feel any need to repent, you feel like you just feel comfortable in your sin, you gotta, I don't know if that's a chosen one, I don't know. Okay, not to say that, like I said, guys, I know that we all fall short, but if you're just willfully giving over to that and you don't feel any conviction, no guilt, no shame, you know, I gotta start, I gotta start living right, eventually you don't start feeling like that, like that and you could be spiritually dead too. And also, speaking of the spirits of dead, when you're chosen, you start to see that, dang, your eyes are open. You're like Neo in the Matrix, okay? If you guys see the movie They Live, when he, when he puts on the glasses, what, when he puts on the glasses, he sees all the people who are uh, spiritually dead, the zombies. Now, when you have the Holy Spirit, you don't have to put the glasses on. You already see, okay? The gift of discernment, you already see. So when you go outside, you realize that most people are spiritually dead, family members, friends. I mean, some of you are in relationships. <laughs> girlfriends, boyfriends, but people who are spiritually dead, okay? And one, one thing about these people who are spiritually dead, when, when you bring them in your life, you're gonna find yourself, your spirit is decaying, man. You, you start surrounding yourself with these people for long enough. Now, if you surround yourself for like a couple minutes, a couple hours, obviously, but when it's a habit every single day, you're, you're gonna start, your spirit's gonna start decaying, bro. I'm telling y'all some real stuff. I got testimonies after testimonies. I'm living proof of that, man. And that's why, God, I just stay isolated, stay by myself. Now, of course, the Most High, He sends people, you know, there's seasons. It's all season. Sometimes there's a season I'm alone. Sometimes, you know, I'm with my, with my homeboys. 
you know, <laughs> with my homies just chilling, kicking it, catching the vibe and whatnot. But for the most part, I prefer to stay alone because I understand people are battling certain spirits. People are battling certain demonic spirits and me aligning the, my, myself with them, hanging out with them, even communicating with. I'm just, I don't want to deal with that, man. I don't want to deal with people's demons, bro. I, don't, I ain't trying to deal with that because that's a war. When people are at war with themselves, when people are at battle against themselves, they try to throw that demonic energy on you. They try to throw that negative energy on you. I ain't, I ain't with that, man. You got your own demons, you fight it on yourself, man. I can pray for you, you know, and I can love you from a distance, but like I said, guys, these demons, they really want to take you chosen ones out. You got to start being wise, man. Start walking in wisdom. Start walking in understanding and knowledge because the Bible says people perish for the lack of knowledge. So without the knowledge, people are perishing. So when you're unaware of what's really taking place on this earth, but the spiritual warfare, how demons are roaming, even the Nephilim, okay? Uh, the, the days of Noah, the giants, the fallen angels that are on this earth today. Because the Bible says that, be not, uh, don't, free, don't forget to entertain angels for some, uh, don't forget to entertain strangers because some have entertained angels unaware, my fault. So if that, if the Bible says that we have, under, we, we have entertained angels who are just, you know, random strangers. Okay, that means that there's demons that sometimes we can entertain too, that we have no idea that's a demon. We have no idea, man. So this is why I said, have the armor on, start praying, start fasting, ask God to reveal things to you, the things that you struggle with, the sins that you struggle with, we gotta start fighting it off, man, because if you're around certain people, okay, and, you, and, you, and like I said, guys, the Holy Spirit lets you know, bro, people don't listen, man. People, people don't listen, bro. So if you're not listening, don't be surprised if you find yourself in darkness. Don't be surprised if you, if you fell short and back to your old ways. Don't be surprised, bro. Okay, because God is always giving us strength. And even the Bible says that when you're weak, you're actually strong. Okay, because God knows that we're, you know, the flesh is weak. God knows that eventually, you know, and this is why we're going to get new bodies. This is why the, the Bible says that we're going to get new bodies that won't be sold to sin, that won't be led to sin. Okay, it's going to be full of the Spirit. And I can't wait for that. I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait for that day, man. Because sometimes this gets tiring, man. This, this, this flesh is just so, oh, <laughs> oh, man, for real. Okay, but yeah, man, start, start, guys, I'm telling you right now, if there's anybody in your life, the reason why, like when I, when I made my video, guys, it was like two months ago. I was talking about how I fell short, if you guys remember that video. And the reason why I made that video, I didn't want to make that video, but it's like I got to let people know the real because... Yes, I, I, I talk about the Bible, I talk about being on fire up, talk about you know giving up your sins and stuff like that, but I have to let people know the real because sometimes, like I said, I'm not perfect, I fall short, I make mistakes. You know, so I wanted, to make the, I wanted to make that video to let people know. But the thing is, you gotta get back up though because the righteous always gets back up, okay? Whether it's a week, a couple days, whatever the case may be, you're eventually gonna get back up, but the wicked, they never get back up. They say, they say you know, down there and they wanna bring other people along there with them, man. That's how it works, man. That's how it works. So I want, to make, I want to make this clear to you guys, man. The reason why I fell short, I talked about it in the video, but the reason why I fell short because the people I was around. So you got to start disconnecting from certain people, okay? Because sometimes, guys, you're going to be giving into those temptations. Even the Bible says that evil communication is corrupt good manners. So if you're around these type of individuals who are carrying on demonic spirits, what do you think you're going to be led to do, guys? What do you think you're going to be led to do? You're going to be led to do what they're doing. Okay, not, maybe not the same day, but eventually you're going to be doing the same thing. So, guys, start to start being alone. You're not going to fit in, okay? The reason why people don't like you is because they can see the Holy Spirit in you. And the demons in them are bothered. They're triggered by that. So they want to take you out. They're jealous, envious, full of hate. I mean, the people you, you would never expect, man. The people you would never expect. So, hope you guys got, guys got blessed with this message. If you haven't made this far, like, subscribe, share, comment. I'm out. Peace. Love you guys.